Investigations are continuing. Stephanie Smell, ABC News. In an Australian first, Queensland doctors have performed spinal surgery on a baby diagnosed with spina bifida while it was still in its mother's womb. The risky operation was carried out yesterday at Brisbane's Mater Hospital with the help of a specialist team from the United States. A team of 40 doctors and nurses performing life-changing surgery on a 24-week-old in utero baby. Spina bifida affects one in 2,000 pregnancies in Australia, a condition where the lower part of the spinal cord is exposed. It can lead to serious physical problems in the lower body and in some cases, learning difficulties. The condition that needs regular monitoring, you know, skin sensation, mobility, toileting management, hidden things, things that you can't see. Until now, patients were treated after birth or had to travel overseas for in utero surgery. But doctors at Brisbane's Mater Hospital have successfully performed a procedure pioneered at America's Vanderbilt University. It's clear that this institution and this country and this town, uh, they're ready for this. I mean, they've, it, was, uh, uh, it was a remarkable experience uh, for our teams to have integrated in that way. Under anaesthesia, the uterus is cut from the mother's stomach. It is turned and an incision is made. Fluid is inserted so the foetus floats to the top of the uterus, exposing the spina bifida. Doctors then repair the wound and stitch the uterus back up. The risks are, um, let's face it, death. Uh, but this is where we work, on the edge of death. Uh, but the benefit is such that uh, children uh, have a better life. The surgery can only be performed in a three-week window between 22 and 25 weeks. While it isn't a cure, doctors say the improvements are significant. It should offer this child and other children a very real chance of having a better level of functioning than they would have had otherwise. That's what this is giving us, hope. The Mater now hopes to establish itself as an Australasian hub for the procedure. Andrew Koss, ABC News, Brisbane.